Hey everybody, today we're going to cable without a cable needle. It's really easy to do and it's a handy technique to know in case you happen to forget your cable needle or double pointed needle or whatever you're using to make your cables on your project or if you're only crossing a few stitches it's a lot easier to do than messing around with a cable needle so in this little sample here I'm doing a six stitch cable which is crossing three stitches over three stitches and I'm doing uh, the right slanting cable first so normally when you are making a right slanting cable you would slip the designated number of stitches off of your left needle, put them on the cable needle, and hold them in the back of your work. To do the right slanting cable without a cable needle, since mine is just uh, six stitches here, you would slide off however many stitches for the cable that you're working with. And I wouldn't do this with any more than, say, I don't know, an eight stitch cable, so you would be working with eight live stitches at once. Just whatever you feel comfortable with, but I think any more than any more than that might be a little difficult. So I'm going to slide off the six stitches that I'm using for my cable. The first three, I'm going to call that set one, and my uh, these three stitches here I'm going to call set two. So to do the right cross without the cable needle, once you have your stitches off of the left needle, take your left needle, go behind the set number two of stitches, and grab set number one, and put them on the left needle. So here I have these three stitches. This is set two. These are still hanging around without any needle on them and I have set one of my three stitches back on the left needle. Now I'm going to grab these three stitches with my right needle to put them on the left needle. And you see I'm crossing them over putting them on my left needle. This is the same thing that you would have if you were holding those stitches in back on a separate needle. And now you can just knit them right off the left needle all at the same time. No fuss, no muss. There's your right crossing cable. Here, let me show you again. Slide off your stitches. Again, this is going to be set one, and this is going to be set two. To do the right crossing cable, you want to reach behind the second set of stitches and grab the first set, put them back on the left needle. And then you can grab your second set of stitches to put them on the left needle again. And then you would just knit them. So much easier than having to fiddle with that cable needle. Now we're going to do the left crossing or left slanting cable. And when you use a cable needle or a double pointed needle to do that, what you would do is you would slip your stitches off from the needle and put them on your cable needle, hold them in front of your work, and then knit your second set of stitches and then knit the ones that you had been holding in front. 
without the cable needle, again, you slip off all of your stitches. Okay, my, uh, these three stitches here I'm calling set two, and these three stitches I'm calling set one. I'm going to make the left cross. This time we're going to take our left needle and we're going to go in front of our second set of stitches to grab the second or the first set here. And then we need to get our second set of stitches back onto the needle. So I'm just going to reach around and grab those. Bring them around. You can see here it's pulling those to the left. Put these back onto my needle. And then you would knit them. Let me show you that again. I have my two sets of stitches here that I'm working with. You want to take your left needle and reach in front of your second set of stitches. Grab your first set of stitches, put them on the left needle, and then you can reach around, grab your second set here, bring them around, put them onto the left needle again, and then you just knit as you normally would. And there you have your left slanting cable. So that is cabling without a cable needle.